Hi, my name is Anton. I'm the product manager for the IntelliJ Kotlin plugin. And I'm happy to share some of the most interesting things that have happened in Kotlin over the last month. If you want to learn more about Kotlin, subscribe to our channel for more videos from the Kotlin team. November 16th, Kotlin project announced 1.6 language version release. Kotlin evolves fast and embraces modern techniques, helping you write clean, safe, and concise code. In 1.6, when statements with still classes require you to specify all possible branches. If you miss one of the CL class inheritors, the compiler will show you a warning to let you know that you have forgotten something. In the 1.7 language version, the warning will turn into an error. This and other features like suspending functions as supertypes, suspend conversions, stable duration API, and collection builders are waiting for you in Kotlin 1.6. Besides that, we improved the experience of using Kotlin with Java libraries and frameworks. Recursive generics, repeatable annotations, and other additions have made interoperability with Java better. Additionally, Spring Boot 2.6, which was released just recently, works with Kotlin 1.6. Want to know what we will work on next? Visit our roadmap page. There we highlighted the main directions for the evolution of Kotlin project. For those who like to get their news in video format, we are happy to say that all of the videos from the Kotlin premiere event have been published on this channel. The accompanying blog post will help you find the talk you are most interested in. Many of our viewers are involved in the release process in their own projects. And everyone's release process are different. People use different techniques and practices. But the questions around releases are often the same. How do we decide what to include in the release and what to postpone? How do we ensure quality and automate the process? This month, one of the recent Talking Kotlin episodes was dedicated to the Kotlin release process. Seth and Hadi interviewed Marina Shishkina, our team lead for the release and automation team. Google announced official support for Kotlin in the Open Source Protocol Buffers project, aka Protoss, their platform neutral, high performance data interchange format. From a proto definition, you can use the new built in Kotlin support in the proto compiler to generate idiomatic Kotlin DSLs. Follow the link in the description for more details and code demos. In November, the Compose multi-platform team was working on framework stabilization. And they have now released the first stable version of the technology. In other words, it's ready for use in production. Congratulations to the team. Almost two years ago, they started with the idea that Google's Jetpack Compose, the declarative UI framework, could be extended from Android to other platforms by sharing part of the technology. Now, it's been extended to JVM, desktop, and web. Work on native platforms is in progress. The Talking Kotlin podcast recently dove into details of the real-world usage of this framework. Four months ago, JetBrains Toolbox, the ID management application with over 1 million monthly users, was fully migrated from C++ and Electron to Compose multiplatform. Hadi and Seb interviewed the Toolbox team lead Victor Grob to ask about the migration process, the team's motivation, and of course, the results. Good news for those who are going to learn or teach Kotlin in future. The education section of the Kotlin website has been redesigned, combining all sorts of information about courses, exercise, and tools that help you learn and teach the language. You can also use these materials for onboarding your colleagues who are just starting in the Kotlin world. 
Advent of Code has started publishing its winter's puzzles. Adapting the tradition of the Advent calendar, the organizers have prepared 25 assignments and they will release one every day starting on December 1st. Kotlin team is taking part in this journey and invites you to join the event as well. Solve the puzzles, share your ideas and solutions under the corresponding videos on this channel and have fun. And here many people ask us where they can learn how to use Kotlin effectively. Our developer Advocates recently published a new article that explains Kotlin collections and iterating through them. It gives a full overview of their types, capabilities and compatibility with Java collections. And it describes idiomatic ways to use them. Keep your code concise and expressive. The Kotlin Chinese Developer Livestream event was held on November 6. It was jointly organized by JetBrains and seven Kotlin user groups from the Greater China region. Speakers shared their experience of working with Spring Framework, Kotlin Mobile Multiplatform, Kator, KSP, the new annotation processor, and more. There were over 800 registrations and more than 1,500 viewers of the online stream. If you want to take part in organizing meetups or conferences in your region, the Kotlin team is more than happy to support you and help with the organization. Just contact us as described on the dedicated web page. The link is in the description. We have great news for library developers. In late November, the Kotlin team released the beta version of Docca, a documentation engine for Kotlin projects. The main feature in this release is the new HTML output format. The team polished the UI, the UX, and undressed some major disadvantages of previous versions. We are aiming to stabilize it by Kotlin 1.7 release, so your feedback about the beta version will be highly appreciated. We want to congratulate one of our contributors on his 1,000th commit to the IntelliJ Kotlin plugin. Thank you, Toshiaki Kamiyama, for your ID features code inspections and quick fixes, which help hundreds of thousands of developers work with code. Your contributions are greatly appreciated. That's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this update. If I missed something or if you want to know more about the things I've talked about, please feel free to leave your comments and share your impressions. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. Have fun with Kotlin!